God's answer to a panic attack. This week we've been looking at this incredible technique that you can use if you're having a panic attack or maybe someone around you is having a panic attack and that is the five senses grounded technique. You can look at five things they can see around them, four things they can touch, three things they can hear, two things they can smell, and lastly, one thing they can taste. This will help them bring them back to where they are and just relax them. But how much better if you're feeling anxious today, maybe you're feeling overwhelmed by your circumstances, let's use the Word of God and how He has senses for us that we can apply in our lives. And so today, on this beautiful Friday, we get to do the last sense. And you can just know it is the sense of taste. And as you would assume and probably know, is my favorite scripture. And it's found in Psalm 34 verse 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. When you understand his goodness, when you're actually tasting it, it's so real to you. No matter what circumstances you are facing, you will know he is your refuge. If you are going through something and the taste you have of God is bad or sour or maybe even rotten, then you know it's not his taste. Because his taste is only good. And when we know his goodness, we find refuge no matter what circumstances we are going in. So that for me is such a technique where if I see something and I see or hear people talking about my God, and I know this is not producing a good taste in my life or in my mouth, then you know, hang on, this is not my God's character. This is not who he is. John 10, 10 is so clear. It says, for the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. His taste is evil. It's sour. It's rotten. It's going to make you sick. Where Jesus says, but I have come that you may have life and life abundantly. I don't know about you, but that taste is just sweet like honey. So when you're going through a panic attack, if you need to put a mint in your mouth or be aware of the taste even of your saliva, eat a chocolate, that sweetness will bring you back to relax. But I want to remind you the best form of relaxation is knowing that your God is good, that you taste him, experience him in such a real way and experience that refuge today. I'm praying for you and if you are feeling anxious, please contact us. Get a hold of us on our website. We would love to pray with you, get you through these panic attacks as you focus on who he is and who you are as a child of God. We are here for you. Always remember you are highly favored and deeply loved.